Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here, back with another Fantasy Magic item review where I look through any army books I have and I pick out some ideas for some cool conversions and just some awesome fluff. So this week's magic item is, is from the Orcs and Goblins army book. It's the Lucky Shrunken Head, coming in at 50 points and it's an arcane item. So the fluff says, small and gruesomely shrivel like some over ripened fruit, only a powerful enemy can be turned into the right kind of shrunken head. There are, there are few charms as potent, but it can be made stronger still by the application of the correct rituals, shuffling dances and chants. Orcs have known this magic for as long as there have been orcs. Some have forgotten, but the savage orc shamans have not. When the crude stitches that keep the mouth soon sh sewn shut quiver and the long closed eyelids twitch, then the spell has worked. It is no minor charm, but a lucky shrunken head. The old ways are best. Now the fluff of that is pretty cool, and for any of those, any of you guys that don't know what um, savage orcs are, they're like the primitive orcs, they're like, I have a picture of them here on the website because I was looking up, um, they're these guys, they're very primitive, they've like stone weapons and handmade spears and all that stuff, so just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about when I go a bit further. Um, now the fluff in this was pretty cool, that's what caught me eye. But the effects that this does in the game really adds into it as well. So what it does is, um, it can only be taken by a savage orc shaman or great shaman. And it can be only taken by the orc shaman war zag. So if you want to have this in your unit you have to have one of these guys in it as well. And what it does is it increases the ward save. And a ward save in fantasy is like an invulnerable save. I, I'm pretty sure it can't be taken away. It's like you have this save no matter what in the game. And then, um, but it sounds this the savage, savage orcs get a six plus ward save if they have war paint. And what this does, it makes it from a six plus to a five plus. And if you take war zag, it puts it to a four plus. So this really got me thinking about how could I make this work on a model. And basically, oh, let me change the hair. The war paint on these guys, like it's kind of spread across him. There's a little bit on his arms there, you can see it on his shoulder. Um, this guy doesn't even have that much. He has a little bit on his leg there. Um, you know, they're kind of like tattoos, war paints, that kind of thing. And what I thought of straight away was this from my Storm from the kit. You get these little heads that the guy holds. Now, they're not shrunken heads, but they're kind of like the closest thing that I could think of using and with a bit of green stuff if you're good at it you could like put stitches over the eyes but the mouths are kind of wide open so I don't think it'll make too much of a difference so and the only two guys that can take this is this crazy looking guy Warzag the great green prophet uh, an orc great shaman and a savage orc shaman now this savage orc guy already has it on the side of him right there so you're not gonna have to model anything up for this guy um, but these two um, you'd have to put one on it. Now this guy has some skulls on his club there and it kind of has like the glowing effect and that's what I was thinking for this. You have that little shrunken head stuck anywhere on him you know like um, and you kind of if you put it says once it starts to move and flicker and I think like once the magic starts flowing through it you can start like put a green glow or whatever a red glow or blue glow whatever color you want to do from its eyes and then have the same colour on your savage orcs. Like if you have like a yellow glow, put yellow war paint on them. But make it kind of like glowing from the centre. You know like it's white in the middle and it's kind of getting brighter. Or yellow in the middle, getting brighter to white, that kind of way. So when you look at it, you'll have like your savage orc shaman guy there. And you'll see the yellow or the kind of colour coming from the shrunken head's eyes. And it'll match all along your savage orcs as well so I think that's kind of the coolest way to do it I even want to get a unit of savage orcs for a long time I think they're absolutely awesome models and I really want to do it and this is something that I'd really like to do as well if I had to get a shaman in it'd probably be this guy Warzak he looks pretty crazy I'd like to put him in and then get that shrunken head or the kind of the heads from the storm vermin kit add him in and just get just kind of come up with a nice color for the war paint and, and make sure it matches across all of them. So and um, so yeah, so that's it for my my crazy idea for the lucky shrunken head. Awesome model, awesome bit of fluff in the book to find this. I think it's pretty cool. And um, let me know what you guys think. 
Um, maybe some of the Crazy Ox Shaman stuff is starting to come off on me thinking of this. But I think it's a pretty cool idea. And you have like in the picture there as well, there's like a shrunken head like that. Um, I think it'll work. I think it'll look pretty cool. And it'll be a nice kind of fluffy unit as well. You know, a story to go with them. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment below, hit the like button. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And as usual, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.